This is the unboxing and first phase on try of the Lenovo Mirage Solo standalone VR headset. Coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as I am, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So this year, the Lenovo Mirage Solo is Google's and Lenovo's competitor to the Oculus Go. Now at $399, it's double as expensive as the Oculus Go. And in this unboxing, we're going to find out what are the additional features of this device that would justify this kind of price tag. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, here's the Lenovo Mirage Solo, Google's and Lenovo's approach to standalone VR headsets. And as compared to the Oculus Go, this one runs on the Daydream platform. As you all know, Daydream is Google's VR platform before you needed the Daydream viewer and a Google phone, a Daydream ready phone in order to use the Daydream platform. But now you can simply use this standalone headset, the Mirage Solo, you don't need a smartphone and you don't need a computer, just like with the Oculus Go. Let's unbox it and let's have a look what's in the box. Now you might wonder why, why is it double as expensive as the Oculus Go? And we will very, very soon see the difference. And I can tell you already, the difference is that this device offers six degrees of freedom as compared to the three degrees of freedom that the Oculus Go offers. And well, it is also a bit heavier here with around 600 grams. It is around 200 grams heavier than the Oculus Go. And we're going to see in the test, in the phase on test later, if that is yeah, a disadvantage, the weight. Okay, but now let's unpack it. So here, you gotta get rid of this here first and see um, how well the rigid head strap is done here because this one has a rigid head strap. As I told you, this is one of those PSVR styles of headsets. So here's the knob to adjust it in size to fit your head. So yeah, it feels feels like it's of good quality. Now let's look at the faceplate. And then what you can see, we have two cameras in the front. And these two cameras are used for the so-called inside out tracking. With these two cameras, the device knows where it is in space and can track itself. So that's the difference. This has six degrees of freedom as compared to only three degrees of freedom of the Oculus Go. It means you can duck, you can dodge, and this is all represented in VR and will make the experience more comfortable. Here we have an expansion slot. We can put in micro SD cards. We also don't have that with the Oculus Go and we have an USB-C port here. Now let's have a look at the lenses and the faceplate. For the lenses, they are also Fresnel lenses just like with the Oculus Go. And of course, in the full review, I'm going to show you comparison picks between the two devices. Now here, the, the face padding, it is made out of foam and it's kind of, yeah, what how would I call it? Flimsy foam? It is this very soft and actually kind of cheap looking foam. And unfortunately, what I'm trying right now, I'm trying to yeah, to get rid of it or to exchange it. And well, unfortunately you cannot because everything is fixed in place. Everything is glued in place. There's no Velcro. So if you sweat into it and if you think you can exchange it or wash it, unfortunately you can't. Now here's a button and with this button, you can put the headset a bit uh, further away from your face, just like you can with the PSVR. And I'm not trying uh, where this works, but I, I can't write, I can get it to work, but probably I'm going to get it to work later when I do the first phase on test. Now here we have the, the volume buttons and we also have the headphone jack and you will need to put in your own headphones since this does not come with speakers. And I think at $399, this is kind of, yeah, an oversight, a big, big oversight that it does not come with speakers. The, two, the $200 Oculus Go has speakers built in. So that is really, really unfortunate. So let's have a look at the other paddings here. So this is the padding that goes to your forehead, the forehead padding. And it's made out of 
some kind of rigid fabric and it does feel good but also also unfortunately you cannot exchange it it's also glued to the device and the same is true for the part that goes to the back of your head and this part is a bit softer i would even say it feels great but also you cannot exchange it and yeah this this part here is the flimsy material that also comes with the lenovo explorer it feels great on the face i know that already but yeah unfortunately you cannot even exchange it so let's have a look what else is here in the box and let's take out this little box and it does not really come out here it really doesn't come out okay let's take the whole thing no 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 this is somehow glued into it no idea why okay let's just open it like this and let's have a look what's inside there so there's a manual of course on the right i'm gonna take this one out we have some in-ear headphones that come with it and yeah we have the little power brick and here we have the usb cable and we have the controller let's have a look at the controller so i've mentioned that before that this headset comes with the standard daydream controller this is the standard daydream controller which already came with the very first daydream view headset and i must tell you guys this is really unfortunate this is not nice why well it has the trackpad here it does not have the trigger that is the problem it does not have the trigger and i really don't understand why doesn't google listen to the community and why don't they give us a, a controller with a trigger it sucks let's be honest it really sucks and well let's see that was the unboxing of the mirage solo so that was the unboxing of the lenovo mirage solo here it is freshly unboxed the lenovo mirage solo standalone headset and of course as you know this is now the first face on try i'm going to put it on for the very first time and i'm just going to tell you about my first impression as what the comfort is concerned of course the full review after i have used this for a couple of days you will find of course here on mrtv so first let's have a look again and let me tell you my first impressions after the unboxing so what i what i felt yeah it is definitely a bit heavier than the um, uh, oculus go at 600 grams and um, yeah we have this rigid strap here now in general i prefer these kind of setups right like, like the psvr because all of your weight rests on your forehead and you won't look like a panda bear after you've worn this for a couple of hours but yeah you also can't lie down on the beds as good as you can with the oculus go with those straps right but well i'm going to test everything out and i'm going to give you the final review in the final review which is going to come up here on mrtv also what i found this padding here is this kind of cheap foam that we've also seen in the lenovo explorer and um, yeah it is normally very very comfortable to wear but also it's not of the highest quality so quality wise for the, the face pad the one that we find in the oculus go looks much much better also you cannot even replace it it is not with velcro yeah it's not here attached with velcro this is glued so you cannot just exchange it so this is unfortunate let's have a look at the oculus go half the price and you have this beautiful foam neoprene which you can completely take off and yeah wash if you need to do so but for the 399 dollars mirage solo you get this cheapy foam and you can't even replace it so that is definitely not such a very good first impression however this part here this feels good this is made of some nice nice uh, fabric that definitely feels very comfortable but also you cannot replace it all right and one thing that didn't work just in the unboxing here you have this button here and you can press it and then here you can change the distance to your face so if you wear glasses you can still adjust it a bit 
All right, but now really the first face on try and I'm going to let you know my very first impressions after putting it on now for the very first time. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, it feels very good, just as expected with these kind of devices. So the good thing is with this kind of setup, you don't really feel the weight so much. Even it is heavier than the Oculus Go, actually it is very, very comfortable. That's what I can tell you now. This is my first impression. Let me try this again. Yeah, the foam, the foam feels really comfortable in your face because it's even softer than this foam neoprene from the Oculus Go. However, you can exchange it and once you sweat, it won't be as nice anymore. Okay, let me push that button. I think it's already as far away possible from my face. Oh no, I can even put it further away. Let me try that. So now it's in a position quite far away from my face. And I can put it in closer. Okay, good. Yeah, so it is very, very comfortable. It's really a very, very comfortable headset. And of course, it's great that you don't have those cables. For the nose, there's also decent, decent nose space here. So you won't really get into trouble with, with, your, with your nose. All right, let me, let me now put on the Oculus Go directly to compare it with the Mirage Solo. So for the Mirage Solo, we have this ski mask type of glasses. And this is also very, very comfortable. Actually, I have more space here around the nose. So for people with a bigger nose, that will be more comfortable, but also then we have more light leakage. But in my, in my time with, with the Oculus Go, I never had any problems with light leakage. So that is totally fine. Um, let me put that on again. Yeah, also, also for my nose, this is really, really comfortable. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't complain here at all. It's very, very comfortable. So, I believe for, for really long sessions, this would even be more comfortable since again, the, the weight rests on your forehead. And I really love this kind of setups where, where this is the case. Now, the question is, will I be able to wear this in bed like I can with the Oculus Go, right? Because this part now is here in my bag and probably it won't work, but anyways, I'm going to let you know that in the full review of the Mirage Solo, which you will be able to see, he to see here on MRTV. So first impression, very, very comfortable. Unfortunately, the face padding is not exchangeable, which is a very, very big oversight in my opinion. And also you don't have any speakers. So you, you need to put in your own headphones, which I think at $399 is not really, really nice. Anyways, all the details you will definitely find in my upcoming full review of the Mirage Solo. So definitely stay tuned here at MRTV. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to check this out now and to tell you everything about it. All right, that's it now for this unboxing and first phase on try. If you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comment section or much better, why don't you directly chat with me? 
on the MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a great free resource which will allow you to chat with me and the MRTV community. So you can get to the MRTV Discord server simply by clicking on the link in the description below and well, I'd be happy to say hi to you there. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. If yes, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV, do that now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.